Hello! Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. This is Bang Splat. This is Darren. Hello! How are you? Okay. How are you doing today? Whoa! Hello! Whoa, whoa! Make you dizzy! Okay. Um, yeah, we can stop playing with that now. This is a tunnel. It goes down in the nether. Down to the sand. Uh, there's a desert temple down there. And uh, we go down there from time to time. Also, the uh, the portal to the end, uh, the end, or the stronghold, at least to the end, and the uh, the bone farm, iron farm, the the old iron farm that Vex made some time ago. Uh, they're right down here, so they're walking distance. I used to have a little break in the rail here, but I took it out. It was right there. Uh, because I'm going to put in an automated rail station down here. This is something I've been doing in the nether here. Because we have multiple long rail trips. I'll show you one over here. Vex tried doing this at his place for near the slime farm. Uh, but it didn't really work out. He was having trouble with it. So just this, you know, you I'm sure you've seen this. So we've got a... Uh, Cactus and uh, hopper pick up the thing, you push the button, minecart comes out, you break the minecart, it gets sucked up by the hopper, it goes into this dispenser. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, the glass is here because you can't put a slab next to the cactus. So I wanted something you could walk up over and didn't have to jump. And it looked weird just having one, so I put two. This, this hallway is narrow. It's the oldest hallway that we have here in the nether. So, I'm going to build one over here. And I've got a little space already kind of dug out. And uh, I covered it up. I did a little bit of homework this time. Let's see, where is it? There it is. I did a little bit of homework. Yeah. Um, another brick. Only problem. So, I have to... Actually, this is going to work perfectly. Only potential issue... And we'll see if it's a problem. Is that it might get in the way of this. Ah. This is already getting in the way. Ah. Okay. Um, so. If it's a problem we will we will correct it. But honestly nobody goes down here. This is this nice little room. That, uh, that Metal made a long time ago. It's a really cool room. He's got these giant pixel art swords. And I had to reinforce the ceiling. Because we kept falling through and coming through the portal. Um, so the entrance is here. And it might might get in the way. But anyway. Let's do this. Let's get started. So. I worked out a process that works. Oh and of course there go the doors. Okay. So I'm going to replace this here. Let's go get some stuff. Whoop. Ah. Ha ha ha. That would. Hey, calm down. Chill out. I have somewhat limited amount of time today, so we are going to do this somewhat quickly. Oh, I already have stone bricks. Good. And uh, th basically, these are the things that we need. I have more than you need here. Um, but we'll... Uh, I have multiple copies of things. So we're going to place down here, like this, like this. And so basically... You need a space next to the cactus, and I'll put it right here. And then you need the cactus, so let's grab our sand. And we can hide this up and put a couple things down here. Sand, and then we need to put a hopper next to, uh, that feeds into a block. I only have the one hopper here, but we only need one. Pop! And then we can take this out. Alright, and that will then feed into a, a dropper that faces up. Right, and then we need a dispenser as well. So the dropper faces up. And then we put the dispenser on top of that facing in towards here. And then we take a piece of rail, just regular rail, doesn't have to be powered rail. In fact, in this case, we don't want it to be powered rail. And we put it there. Uh, so this is great. So the, the minecart comes up here. And we need a piece of cactus. And... Put the cactus there. Now, you can only 
Uh, the cactus needs to have space to the side. So we're going to put, yeah, this is going to totally get in the way of the entrance to the below room, but that's fine. We'll, uh, I'll have a discussion with Metal and we will, we will find another location if he really cares. So I'm going to put glass there and then um, I'm going to put stone brick here. And then we've got ha stone brick half slabs, which I'll put right there. All right. Okay. And then down here, I need a little bit more space. I think I miscalculated. Back here, this needs to be empty. What? No, this can be a, this can be a block. We don't care. This needs to be empty. And this up here can be a slab. Um, no, this up here can be a full block. This needs to be an empty space because we're going to put a piece of redstone on top of the dispenser. And then we're going to take a button. I like wooden buttons here because they're easy to see. I'll activate that. Anything in the dispenser gets popped out here. I need one more block of space here. So let's do this. And we're, whoops. Digging out here. And I want to do that. Yeah. You hear all the pigmen. Fortunately, we should be pretty safe here. And that can go like that. Didn't really need to replace this two below, but that's fine. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take comparators and repeaters. Uh-oh. Okay. Comparator. Comparator. Leave both. Normally, I would put this one in subtraction mode, but we're not going to do that. And, uh, huh. Okay, we might be able to work around this by doing this. And, um, yeah. I will, let's play this in like this. We can test it and assuming, there we go. And this should then, when something ends up in this hopper, it'll feed down into this dropper. This should detect that power, the dropper, but, but not the dispenser. So, oh, we can, we can test with this. So we can just toss down a piece of redstone and get sucked up by the hopper. Woohoo. And it ends up in the dispenser. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So that means that you only need one repeater. I was doing it with two. Um, and I don't want to put a block here because it'll cut off the redstone. But I can put in some of these. Right. I can put one there. And that should still work. Good. And I need a few more stone bricks. Um, yeah, that's going to stay like that. I'll clean this up later. It's not, not critical. All right. And then it's no brick. Whoops. No, no, not the slabs. Thank you. Come back to me. And then the bricks. Do, 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 do. And there we go. And then we put these slabs back in to prevent the pigmen from spawning on the rails, which they can totally do now. And pop. Notice that makes that super dark. You can't see in there. So now if we go and grab some mine carts. Uh, oh, I need this on. Hang on. Let me put the rest of this stuff up here. And I will come back and grab it when I do the other end. So if we come here and we place a few mine carts into there. I want to click on this. It'll dispense one. If it, when it comes up and breaks, it'll end it back in. This is beautiful. And you don't get any clicking if you leave both the, uh, the comparators in normal mode. So now I can hop in and push off down this way. Lower the rail sound a bit there. So then we'll go all the way out to the other side where the where the portal is that leads out to the uh, the desert temple where we get all our sand. Woohoo! Now, I need to put another one in out here. That's going to be interesting because right now, let's go outside. I don't have any good potions on me, so this might be a little bit tricky. But notice, where's that ghast? 
I don't see it. Um, so that's going to be right up here. So I'm going to have to build this out a bit. It'll be a little bolt. Whoa, hello. Did you drop something? Give me your tear. Oh, there's still another one. Oh. I, I, I saw something drop. I know I did. There's the experience. There's experience. <gasps> oh, it's experience. More experience. Oh, it was close. I don't see any drops, though. It's rough with all this uh, soul sand out here because the, the drops, they, uh, Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, move, move, move. Okay. Is there more than one of them up there? Uh oh, I'm on fire. Oh, did you just despawn? I think so. Darn. Okay, but I got four gas tears out of that last one. That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's get back inside where it's safe. The soul sand will go out, I believe. It's not like netherrack. Pick some up. All right, to our safety doors. Whoa, the safety door is not working. Why not? Oh, it's a regular door. Never mind. Okay. Four more gas tears. Oh, hello. All right. So anyway, and then if we, uh, so when we take our little mine cart, we drop it on the track here and we go back the other way. So the little chevrons point towards the, uh, the main portal room. Very useful if you're down one of these long hallways aren't anywhere near a sign. Okay, and it automatically got sucked up. It got broken by the cactus, got sucked up by the hopper and pushed back up into the dispenser. Everything's cool. Okay, so question is, what do we do about the entrance down there? Let's see if we can fix this real quick. Um, Metal had put in a couple trap doors. We've got our Silk Touch pick on the bar. Uh, let's see if break the glass and break this. Let's see if we can do this. Right? And that would have to be there. And then this lets us get down the ladder. Can we put the trap doors on this side? Okay, we're back to normal. So if I want to go down there, we can just click on that, pop down, go down to our room, climb back up, and then uh, get ourselves out of there. Okay, that works. So that was pretty simple, right? I mean, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, I'm sure you've seen these types of. Uh, oh, oh. I'm sure you've seen these types of uh, minecart end stations before. There, I certainly didn't invent it. And then if I put a slab right there, then this space, which has to be empty for the cactus, nothing can spawn there. 
Nothing should spawn on these trap doors, I don't think. They are at a half slab position. They're transparent blocks, so they should be fine. So, anyway, obviously I need... I need some more, I need some more stuff. Where'd my, oh, hang on a second. Go put a sign up here. All right, go. Press, oops. Minecart. And one of the main reasons I wanted to do this on all the ends here was because the uh, I, I was in the habit of picking up my minecart when I got to the other end, but if somebody else didn't, and it was just left sitting here, you'd come all up along, and then on this powered rail, you'd bounce off of their minecart, which is a little frustrating. Where did my comparators go? I had like 40 comparators. Am I just not seeing them? I don't see them. Huh. Okay. Um, I know I was on my last repeater. Got some more supplies up here. No. Okay, that's weird. I'm gonna have to go looking for those. All right? Because they're not here, right? I'm 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 not crazy, right? Where's that other gas? Oh, there it is. Oh, move. Well, that created a mess. Okay, outfire, outfire. Okay, let's climb back up there. Oh, and I'm crazily searching for gas tiers because I'm building brewing setup. Oh, more gunpowder. Okay, looks like no more tiers. All right. Boots took a little damage there. Okay. So anyway, um, I think that's going to be it. A little short short episode here. Oh, doesn't work. Short episode. Um, just sprucing up the, the nether infrastructure a little bit. Making the minecart situation better. Uh, we have minecarts now going out pretty, pretty far. Um, go down this tunnel here there's a little station out there that goes out to the witch farm which I showed last time and if you go past that it goes out to the mesa biome which is pretty cool um, oh hello I don't have any more bricks on me yeah and uh, to dig out that hole on this side, I did have to do a little bit of this. Not too bad. Um, this area looks kind of ugly anyway. So, And this is a safety door. Push the button, and it stay, And even when the button comes out, it's, the door stays open. Uh, just there's a little flip-flop circuit down here. Makes it easier to get back inside when things are hot and heavy outside. Anyway... Uh, so I think we're going to call that an episode. Sorry about that. Whoops. Um, yeah, so we've been going for a little bit here. So we'll, uh, I have a few couple other things to do here today. And then we're going to, uh, record a couple more episodes. So, uh, that, that is all I've got right now. We will do the other end of this rail. And, uh, and that way we'll have it on all the major rails here in the nether, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to carry around a minecart. You always have some available. You don't have to like have a space in your inventory to open up a chest and pull it out. Everything's good. All right. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if, I hope it, this was instructional. 
very simple little nether or just a minecart rail terminus sort of thing. Um, I, I think what I showed you here pretty much was a tutorial, but if you want a little bit more detail, I can show you how I worked through it and tried to simplify it. We could probably simplify it even more. I can probably get rid of uh, with a little bit more space going back this way, I could probably get rid of one of the comparators. But anyway, um, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and I will see you next time. All right? Bye.